Hi everyone, this is Patrick with Blue Fletch, and today I'm very excited to share with you one of our newest features, and that's Blue Fletch Enterprise Launcher's support for Microsoft Authentication Language, or MSAL for short. MSAL is Microsoft's authentication protocol that provides a single sign-on experience for both web and native applications. This makes it extremely powerful, especially on shared Android devices, where users are constantly switching, but still want that native, personalized SSO experience that users are accustomed to with their personal devices. This enables BlueFletch to provide users with access to native apps like Teams and Edge Browser, and more coming soon. Let's take a look at that in action. Here, a user will sign in and once authenticated, presented with apps for their day. You'll see Microsoft Team opens up and automatically signs the user in all the way through. The same will happen when you launch the Edge browser. And Edge will even sync bookmarks, favorites, and browsing history. My SAML token carries over, and I have SSO for my webmail. At the end of the shift, the user will log out, and BlueFletch will clean up the session data and close out all running applications so the device is ready for the next user. You'll see the next user logs in and we'll have a very similar experience, except of course, their credentials will be carried over for single sign-on. Now let's take a look at that without MSAL support. Again, a user will log in. And we'll attempt to open Microsoft Teams. You'll notice the user does not get automatically signed in. They must re-authenticate. Now when the user logs out, behind the scenes, they're actually still logged into Microsoft Teams. And let's prove that now. So even though I logged in as Patrick, you'll see I'm still logged in as Tina in Microsoft Teams. This is because Android must 
add the account to the operating system at a device level to support native teams. However, MSAL does away with that and allows users to dynamically switch and still support native Microsoft Teams. Now that you've seen the MSAL experience with BlueFletch in action, let's take a look at how you implement that with the EMM. For this example, we'll use Intune because they make out-of-the-box support for MSAL quite easy. In fact, we can do it in three quick, simple steps. Let's take a look at those now. The first step for setting up MSAL with BlueFletch on your device is to get your device enrolled into an EMM, such as Intune or Microsoft Endpoint Manager. To do that, you'll go to Devices, Android Enrollment, and select Corporate-Owned Dedicated Devices. You'll see shared device and the token type must be selected as Azure AD shared mode. What this does is it sets up the Microsoft Authenticator app in a shared mode device to facilitate logging in and logging out. You can set an expiration token, which luckily Microsoft just extended beyond a 90 day validity period and can be set for pretty far into the future now, as far as two years in advance. We'll click Create, and you'll see an enrollment token gets generated that can be scanned from the factory default screen on Android. As a reminder, you can tap seven times on that blue welcome screen to scan this QR code for enrollment. Let's add Blue Fletch to your Azure AD instance. First, you'll log into Azure AD and select App Registrations. We're going to create a new registration and we'll call it Blue Fletch MSAL Test. We'll only allow accounts in this org and then we'll click Register. First thing is we're going to set up our new endpoints. So we're going to add under the authentication pane the platform of Android. The package name is going to be what gets deployed from the Google Play Store. In this case, com.bluefletch.ems.emm.auth.msal. The signature hash will be confirmed by your BlueFletch contact. Once we click Configure, please note this MSAL configuration array and send that to your BlueFletch contact. The client ID and the tenant ID are especially important for us to set up MSAL. Finally, we'll go to API permissions and add a few permissions that are required. Select add a permission, select Microsoft Graph, delegated permissions, and select the first four, email, offline, open ID, and profile. Once you add that, you should be good to go. Now that BlueFletch has been set up in your Azure AD environment, it's time to deploy the applications to your device. You'll do that by navigating to Apps and then Android and clicking Add. Select Manage Google Play App from the dropdown and select. While working with your BlueFletch contact, they would have shared our applications with your private Play Store and they should be available when searching Blue Fletch in double quotes to get only the applications that we publish. The two required for MSAL are the EMS Launcher and the EMS Auth MSAL. Make sure you select both of these apps and approve them for deployment. Then assign them to whatever test group you have set up for testing on your devices. I'd also recommend deploying the Microsoft Edge browser on your devices if you haven't already done so. Now, let's configure the launcher via the app configuration. You'll go to Apps and then App Configuration Policies and create a new app configuration policy. Select Manage Devices and input a name that will make sense to you. For example, 
Blue Fletch MSAL test. You'll select Android Enterprise as the platform and select fully managed, dedicated, and corporate owned work pro profile only. The targeted app in this case will be the EMS launcher that you previously approved and deployed. Click select and OK. Next, you'll go to configuration settings and select enter JSON data. Again, working with your Blue Fletch contact, they'll provide you with a config URL and checksum of your launcher config to deploy to your devices. Once that's set, you can assign to your test group the same test group you assigned your applications previously. Select Next, Create, and within minutes, you should have a fully managed device ready to test Blue Fletch. Please let us know if you have any issues or would like some additional help. Thanks so much. So now you might be ready to test out MSAL in your environment. Just one thing to keep in mind, not all Microsoft native apps on Android currently support MSAL or the shared user mode that you've seen today. At the time of this recording, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Edge, and Yammer are the only three applications that officially support this. Additional apps will be added soon, and some are even available in the beta and canary channels for MSAL testing. Again, it's extremely easy to get up and running with MSAL and Intune. So if you want to take a look at Blue Fletch Launcher to help facilitate this shared user sign in and sign out, please reach out and we can help you get that going. We'd love to show you what we've been working on and help you support your shared user environments. Thanks so much.